Metro police showed their presence outside of a restaurant where an employee was shot and killed during an attempted robbery last night. In fact, they held roll call there this afternoon as they search now for three people responsible for last night's shooting. Now, police release surveillance pictures from inside of that subway in hopes that someone will please recognize those suspects. Yeah, this is the second shooting in two months at an Indianapolis subway. Our Rich Night Tonight at 6 has more on the employee who was killed and the search for the shooter. The subway near 75th Street and Shadeland Avenue was closed today, but the parking lot was full of cars. IMPD North District Beat 60 held 1.30 p.m. roll call in front of the restaurant where an employee was shot and killed during a robbery Monday night. Police released these photos of the robbery. They are looking for three people who wore all black clothing and face mask and killed a 35-year-old man, Ashok Kumar. Back on January 3rd, an employee was shot twice during a robbery here at this subway near 38th and Post. The victim is an 18-year-old girl in high school. She survived. The girl tried to stop the robbery when she was shot. About $300 was taken from the cash register. This is my location, it's family, you know. Employees is not just employees. They're part of family, kind of. So I can't let them die or they let them hurt up there. Piyush Patel owns this subway and five more in the Indy area, but not the one where the employee was killed last night. Patel is holding a training session with police for his employees this Sunday and inviting other franchise owners to bring their workers. That's uh, nothing we can change big time, but at least we can educate our employees to uh, how to behave while that happened, you know. Police say there was a confrontation during last night's robbery. Both of this month's subway shootings happened in the early evening, about six miles apart. But police have not said if they believe there is a connection. So it could be anywhere. It has nothing to do with subway itself. I'm Rich Knight, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Now, we actually reached out to subway corporate offices and were promised a statement early this afternoon, but we have not yet received any comment from the company so far. If you have any information about either shooting, please call Crime Stoppers. Their number is 262-TIPS.